the purpose of this video is to find the area of a uh, trapezium shaped garden park and uh, using the scale diagram. So this is a scale diagram of a trapezium shaped local skate park. So this is a local skate park and we want to find the area of this skate park. The scale that is given is 1, 1 is to 1000. Now what does that mean? Uh, if it is say 1 centimeter, suppose if it is say this is say 7 centimeters, so that is 7 centimeter is equal to so that is 7,000 centimeters, okay, and that you have to change into meters. Okay, so let's first measure the sides. To find the area of a trapezium, say this is A, this this length. First, let me discuss the formula first. The, this is, say, these are the two parallel sides. So these are the parallel sides. So if the length of this, suppose let us name this as, say, A, B, C and D, okay. So, and suppose this is the perpendicular distance between the two parallel lines. Suppose let us call that as H. Okay, so the area, you can split this into a rectangle, two, uh, sorry, a rectangle and two triangles. And then you find the area of the triangle and the two rectangles will also give you the area. But there's a very neat formula for area of a if area of a trapezium. Suppose these two are parallel sides. The length of say this is say, let me put write that as x. Suppose this is x, and the length of CD is y. So the area of this trapezium is half times half of the uh, the parallel sides. That means x plus y times it by h. So basically what we are doing is we are finding the average of the length of the parallel side. So this is basically nothing but the area of a rectangle. So what we are doing is we are finding the average of the two bases. So you've got two, these two can be called the bases and this is the height. So area of a rectangle as you know is base times height. So you've got two bases in trapezium. So that's why you have this formula. It's very easy to remember. It is base times height. Okay. Now this is this is the average of the bases. So when you're adding two bases and you're dividing by, by dividing it by two, what you're finding is you're finding the average of the base. So let's find the length of. So this is my ruler. Okay. So set your zero of your ruler with one B. Uh, set the ruler. Set the zero of your ruler with D and let me make this bigger. So this, let me bring this down. So if you read it properly, uh, this is where you want to measure. So this is 6.5, 6.6, 6.7 exactly. Okay, not, I can't say exactly, so I can say the nearest I can say is 6.7 centimeters. So first let me write that. So this, the length of xy is 6.7 centimeter. So that's your y. So let me measure now x. Oops. You have to go like this. Okay, so I'll set the zero of the ruler with a and I'll make this bigger. Okay, so that's so cool. This is an electronic ruler. So this is, so let's read it. Oops. I have to move this. So this is set with 0. A is set with 0. And you have to read oops, what is B. Okay. So if you see B, this is 13. This is 13.5. So it seems to be this is 13.5. Okay. So I'll say X is 13.5 centimeters. Okay. So let me move this ruler away. Now I'm bringing, I want to find this height. So this is the ruler. Okay, so this is, you set it in. So this is say, set at zero. So I'll make this bigger, slightly bigger. So this I can read is 5.4. Okay, this is 5.5 5 and this is 5.5. 5. So I would say this is, the height is 5.4. Okay, so these are the measurements that I have done. 
now I want to get the actual measurement the actual measurement so let me scroll this up okay so the actual measurement is let me use a different color this is 6.7 times 1000 so if you so this is nothing but 6.7 let me use a calculator you can use your, you can don't need a calculator but it's better to use it 6.7 times 1000 is 6700 centimeters so 6700 centimeters okay so uh, one centimeter so let me write it uh, uh, 100 centimeters is one meter okay so uh, and one yeah so this is uh, so 6700 centimeters is how many meters the 60 6000 so you divide this by 67 meters am i right 6700 centimeter is 67 meters this is this length so this will be same thing 13.5 so to change the centimeters into meters what you do is you divide by 100 so this is your first time seeing it by 100 so this is in centimeters and that you divide by 100 that will give you 67 meters okay now the same thing 13.5 times 1000 that is 13,500 centimeters and that you divide by 100 that will give you 135 135 meters so this is 135 meters it's all squashed in and same way this would be 5.4 times 1000 that's sent that's 5400 centimeters divided by 100 that will change that into 54 meters so this is the actual measurement so this is 54 meters so now uh, we can use the formula so the area so let us write it again what is x x is uh, x is 135 meters your y is 67 meters and your height is 54 meters so area we know is how uh, you can, instead of half you can write 0 0.5 times this bracket means times x plus y times h okay so let us put the values this, this is 0 0.5 times 135 plus 67 plus 67 times 54 okay so let's use the calculator so that is 0 0.5 times 135 plus 67 close the bracket times it by 54 that will give you 5454 uh, meters squared okay what was the answer 5454 four. that's a neat number so this is 5,454 meter square is the area of this trapezium shaped uh, skateboard.